Hey guys, welcome to another DevKit Weekly, where this week, thanks to our sponsor DigiKey, we're giving away 15 Sci8 C-Kit 059 PSOC 5LT prototyping kits from Cypress Semiconductor. The Sci8 C-Kit 059 PSOC 5LP prototyping kit features the Sci8 C5888 LTI LP097 from Cypress's PSOC 5LP family, which they call the industry's first integrated programmable SOC due to the fact that it combines universal digital blocks that leverage CPLD technology, a 24-bit digital filter block coprocessor, 20-bit programmable analog front ends, a peripheral-to-peripheral -peripheral DMA controller, and an ARM Cortex M3 CPU in just a single chip. All of this functionality is particularly important, well, because it means that you can offload tons of functions from the ARM CPU to the integrated logic in the peripherals. This means that the host CPU can be reserved for general purpose applications processing so you can get more bang for your buck in terms of what you can execute on the PSOC 5LP, but also means that you can save tons of power by running analog and digital functions on special purpose blocks that are designed for these workloads. For example, the custom 20-bit analog front ends include op amps, PGAs, filters, comparators, SAR, Delta Sigma ADCs with bypass capacitators, and a CapSense touch sensing CMOD capacitors, meaning that a significant chunk of the signal chain is handled before input data even reaches the CPU, if at all. A lot of that is made possible by the fact that the DMA controller allows peripheral to peripheral access, so you can bypass the processor altogether in a lot of cases. To program the PSOC 5LP, developers use the Cypress Kitprog onboard hardware programmer and debugger with the PSOC Creator or PSOC Programmer development environments. Kitprog provides access to PSOC 5LP resources via an SWD interface and also functions as a USB to UART and USB to I2C bridge. Thanks to Kitprog, you can also use the Micrium Micro C probe applications to read and write memory to the device if you're so inclined. This is actually one of the reasons these boards are sometimes referred to as snaps. The kit prog portion of the board can literally be snapped off to program and debug other PSOC 3 and PSOC 4 devices, as well as obviously other PSOC 5 LP chips. And pro tip, the creator hardware software co-design environment, which comes with a full library of 100 software components that are pre-verified for the PSOC 5 LP is free and allows users to drag, drop, and configure components into their system builds, design application firmware, and review component data sheets. The IDE can be downloaded at cypress.com slash PSOC creator. Now elsewhere around the board, the Sci8 C-Kit 059 also features great flexibility. There is also a micro USB header with full speed USB 2.0 connectivity that accepts 3.3 and 5.5 power input and access to PSOC 5LP IOs that operate in a breadboard compatible format. There is a 32 kilohertz external crystal oscillator that connects to some of the aforementioned peripherals via a load capacitor. And of course, there is also a bunch of LEDs and push buttons. All in all, this is a great way for users to quickly access a very flexible platform and also introduces them to a programmable technology if you're a novice or an experienced developer. If you want a Sci8 C-Kit 059, you can get one for the low price of $10 directly from DigiKey. Or like I mentioned before, you can enter this week's raffle and try to win one of 15 kits for free. Both links are in the description below and on the screen now. Thanks for watching. Good luck in this week's raffle. We'll see you all next week on DevKit Weekly.